Okay, finally back again after some time away. Now I'm going to try to start this storyline, Shadows over Innistrad. We're fighting a werewolf here. Why does it say this is worth 210 when it comes out to 150? Must be stuck inside it. Yep, werewolves. I'm fighting werewolves. And I'm using the blue deck. Not much land. Some of the cards cost. Okay, that's. That's some funky abilities. Still, don't like the few lands, even though I could cast this stuff. And this stuff is only defensive, really. Okay, a little more land. Blue is so stally and weak. I don't want to go down to six card hand, so... Red and green. Transform it. This is new. I've seen transforming cards. Ah, skill quest for transforming. Never played with them before, but I've seen them. Thing in the ice with four ice counters on it. That's the answer to remove the ice counters. Then, if it has no ice counters, transform it. When this creature transforms, return all non horror creatures to their inner sense. Okay. I have to get rid of the counters on this thing. Let's do return target by my target to its owner's channel. And Ruby Bobs. The one one counter on a Ruby Bob. Well, that's fine. counter from this thing. Okay. Okay, I think I have an idea of what's supposed to happen here. I have to block one of these. Now, I need to cast this. Put one of these back to its owner's hand. So I only take six. Here lost one of its counters. And he brings this back out. Now 
I should draw a sorcery. Which removes the last counter from the wall. And so it transforms. And just for laughs, throw out an island. Why do you lose all those creatures? Oh, they went back to his hand. So not used to these cards. And the game is won. And 10 coins for that. What does this turn into? The player cast two or more spells last turn. Well, it's a 4-2 with Trample, which is not that bad. If I don't like it, I can just cast two spells, hopefully. No spells were cast last turn. Transforming. Whose last turn? Mine or his? Anyhow, I still... Sus. Not time to use that yet. I mean, it's tempting just to whip it out. Because this thing is probably going to transform. However, it's not time to use that yet. Um, I'm actually going to skip it. See if this thing transforms based on me. Yes, it does. Clears that up. No spells were cast last turn. Transform convicted killer. Oh, I have a second card. Yes, I just went through that. What is this thing transformed into? A 4-4. Four, four. Okay. What is mine turning to? The library in your graveyard. If it's an instant of sorcery, transform a barren researcher from a 3-2. We're five four flying. Okay. Oh yeah, another one. Skulk. Creature can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Uninvited guy steals combat damage to a player, transform it. Can't be blocked at all. So it's a two two normal. I'm going to start with the flying wall. Yes, the flying wall. Do I want to block and kill this thing off? And I will lose my creature as well. Sure, why not? Alpac wolf can't block unless you control another wolf or werewolf. That's a werewolf. And that's a werewolf. The werewolf deck. Never saw one before. Phantasma Bear becomes the target of a spell or ability sacrifice it. 
Okay, I can cast this and this. I can cast this and this. I can just cast one of these two. What is this? Investigate whether it sacrifice this artifact to draw your card. Oh. It's a 2-4. It would be effective at blocking one of them. This needs to wait a turn before it becomes good. This I can't block with because it needs to go and attack the werewolves. This would be a sacrifice blocker and this is still useless right now. So... Hmm. I'm gonna do this for now. Another transforming card. First strike. Beginning of each upkeep if no spells were cast, transform village iron set. What does this thing turn into? 3 1 first strike. Okay. Top of the Tony's library. I have a lot of investigates. Hmm. Well, I don't need to cast two now. Because when these two flip, I cast two spells, I flip them back. I don't need that. So, uh, it's time for you. prevent them from flipping. No, you will get blocked and die. Another village giant smith. the creature. What is this? Are equal to the number of cards in your hand. Damage to a player draw a card. I really could use another land right now. Oh, I can cast this. The claustrophobia enters tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Interesting. I was going to save this, but this one's more powerful. So, we'll use this. Use a creature to attack. That one. This is only temporary for one turn anyway. And then... They both do the same thing. I'll use that later. But now we'll go to the attack phase. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. Oh, wow. 
flyer attack. Just so I can get a shot in. And then we will use this. Not the claustrophobia. No? We've gotten a couple of licks in. Three. Wait. I'm going to have to review the video on this later. Because I cast something. I thought I cast. Yeah, I did. I cast this. So it doesn't work off of me? I don't know now. I still don't have another land, so I can throw this out. But I can now do two. Target creature gets minus four, minus zero until end of turn. Hmm. I can flip all those creatures back, but which ones do I want? Well, there's only one way I can do it. I have to do the Phantasmal Bear. And... Does this thing turn into a 3-3 can't be blocked from a 2-2 can't be blocked with creatures of greater power. This. And that should turn them all back. And it's at the beginning of upkeep, so with his upkeep they'll come back. This we're going again. There's the land I wanted. Lost it to this. Flip your cards. Thank you. Tormented Pariah. If no spells were cast last turn, transform Tormented Pariah. Well, he's cast a spell, because this counts. The Impaging Werewolf. Ew. Okay, now he's got a strong one out there. Okay. Yes! It transformed! No more card flipping. Boom. Tap enchanted creature. So I can do that. I can do this. Owner's library. Remove one of his creatures. I can do this. If I do this with this, I use up all my land. Um, hmm. First thing we'll do is that thing is so deadly. We'll do that. Well, that thing's trapped. And now we we'll do this. That's an instant. Hmm. I'm gonna play it safe and just do this. And I'm not gonna use this now. I'm gonna save my two mana for this.
Gas Staff Arsonist. Oh wow, he's bringing out powerful ones now. From a 5 4 to a 6 5. We'll deal with that. Ooh, another wind. Claustrophobia. He does not do something about my flyer. He's dead next turn. No, I'm still gonna save. I could draw, but I'm gonna save my instinct. Step, I got a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. This can lower one of them practically nothing. Probably that one. This I can kill with this, but he still has mana. Go with this. Stop. And then we're gonna play this on that. So it has no attack power. Nope, he loses a creature. He thought he could get a lick in. He better have something on defense. Um, that's a sorcery, that's a creature spirit. I have no reason to put a permanent on the library, and this is too weak. For now, I will not spend anything, I will just go straight to attack. Let's see if there's something to stop this. Nothing! And that was a fairly straightforward and easy fight. Okay then. So that's one down. A lot easier than I thought it would be. It was so hard for me to use in the first storyline. So. One down, next one to go. I've also decided, unlike last times, I'm not going to try to do two matches per video because it'll make it easier to upload and to process videos, so I'm going to end this video here and next time I'll be doing the second fight. We'll see what happens then. Till then, have a good day.